What I was talking about before you got here, I can't talk about now because I was talking about... Oh, I'll just tell you. Like, you know, like, I was looking at Lesbian Row tonight and I was going, whoa, whoa, whoa. And I was thinking, why, why are straight men, and I use the term loosely, but why are straight men obsessed with the idea of women making out with other women? And then I, I asked the women in the audience, straight women aren't obsessed with that, are they? And then two really pervy women at the back went, we are! And then, and then, but then I thought, see, what I just did there, I said two really pervy women. Why are they pervy? That's not pervy. That's not, I, I see, I judge them. I judge them and I shouldn't judge them. They like what they like and within the parameter of the law, it's perfectly acceptable. So anyway. <laughs> Do you think this is me trying to lead up to justifying and be, making it okay for me to make out with a dude on the show? <laughs> ah, I, you know who I'd make out? That dude from that show. What's it? Uh, he, he's really gorgeous. What's his name? Uh, um, Khloe Kardashian. <laughs> No, I'm only kidding. I don't mean that. So cool. Oh, shut up. It was, just, it was just a joke. I don't, I don't mean she's a dude. I, I just, anyway, look, I was just, I, it kind of interested me about male and female sexuality, and I know it's a subject that's talked about a lot in my head. <laughs> but it is interesting. But you know, the, the hypothesis I have now is that there is no uniformity, as far as I can see, in female heterosexuality. That women are so diverse in their thinking, uh, as opposed to men who are fairly singular in what they want. <laughs> You know, straight men, straight men, you know, fairly singular and what, I mean, it's within certain parameters of, I need this here, I need this, this going on here, and, whereas women are like, I want someone who makes me laugh. <laughs> who's, I want someone who makes me laugh and who's confident. What, what, you want a psychotic midget? That turns you on? It's just, I, I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe, I know I'm not the first person ever to notice there may be a lack of communication. Anyway, all I'm saying is it just occurred to me tonight, and then I thought, well, well, I might as well talk about it. <laughs> and I did. <laughs> but uh, we'll take a commercial break, where I suspect that sex will be used to try and get you to buy products. <laughs> Who's the sponsors tonight? Boner pills again? Screwing. Yeah. Is it? Is it boner pills? No, it's not. You're not going to tell me who it is in case I talk about them, are you? <laughs> well, look, I don't know who the sponsor is, but if watching this show uh, you experience an erection that lasts longer than four hours, <laughs> call me. Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson, sponsored by Subway. Start the new year right at Subway with a new low-fat 6-inch turkey BLT. Surprisingly, 7 grams of fat, even with bacon. Now. 
Let it go, let it die away, let your applause end. Oh, it has. <laughs> That's interesting. You said to me, oh, it's a crap audience. I come out, they're lovely. <laughs> They hate you now. <laughs> now they have a focus for their hatred. Me, they're indifferent to, but you, they hate. <laughs> it's a great day for America, everybody. Isn't it? <laughs> it is. It is a. It's a, a great day for a great day for two American treasures. Dolly Parton. She. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> She, uh, uh, she turned 65 today, Dolly, so, uh, well, most of her. Uh, so, uh, happy birthday, Dolly. I think all of her, actually. I think Dolly's the real thing. I think, I think that's all kind of like, really? Yeah. Uh, terrible news for our friends in Australia. Sobering news, really. The kind of news they don't like. Sobering news. <laughs> what? No, the, uh, the animal experts say the Tasmanian devil is close to extinction, which is terrible news. But is anyone surprised? Have you seen the Bugs Bunny cartoons, the Tasmanian devil? It cannot tell the difference between a hot dog and a stick of dynamite! <laughs> uh, which one do I eat, right? Uh... That's right, Tasmanian devil sounds like Scooby-Doo. Yeah, yeah, uh, it's a... Uh, oh, did you watch season 10 of the American Idol started earlier tonight? I, it was fantastic. <laughs> the ratings were huge. Yes, the ratings are in already. And everybody in the entire world watched. The only people who didn't watch, of course, Al-Qaeda. <laughs> oh, we'd rather watch Glee. <laughs> their ideas. It's so fresh and interesting. Every show is so completely different. <laughs> American Idol, though, it's hard to believe. Ten seasons of American Idol. My favourite season was the one where the winner disappeared and we never heard from them again. <laughs> Which one was that again? Ooh, commentary. <laughs> Nah, that's not true. Actually, some big stars are from American Idol. All these beautiful women, Kelly Clarkson, uh, Jennifer Hudson, Carrie Underwood, Clay Aitken. Beautiful ladies! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm really doing well with the Glee crowd tonight, haven't I? I have a feeling, though, that this year's Idol is going to be the best one ever. All our favourite characters are back. Randy Jackson. <laughs> No Simon, no Kiki de ka 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 ka. No more of that adorable lesbian. What's her name again? Ryan Seacrest? No, 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 no. Nah, I'm kidding. Ryan Seacrest is there. But the new judges, Steven Tyler and Jennifer Lopez, are going to be there. Do we have a picture of Steven Tyler? There he is. And then. Uh... <laughs> uh, do we have a picture of Jennifer Lopez? Whoa, look at that. Yeah. That's right. That's Jenny from the block right there. <laughs> Don't be fooled by the rocks that she's got. <laughs> you know, to me, American Idol seems like doing karaoke without being groped by drunken Japanese businessmen. <laughs> and I'm thinking, well, what would be the point? <laughs> I haven't seen a lot of American Idol, but I've seen enough to know that Simon was a huge part of the success. And I'll miss the way he folded his arms to make himself look like he worked out. And then I... <laughs> Oh, that's rubbish. Look at these. They're not real. I'm doing this trick I that no other man in the world knows. <laughs> I'll miss the way his nipples poked against his tight T-shirt. Like little baby birds trying to burst out of their eggs. <laughs> oh. You like that lesbian row, eh? People think that Simon Cowell is irreplaceable and that American Idol will collapse without him. And these people are called Simon Cowell. I like him. I like Simon. He was mean, he was honest, but he was too mean. You know, whenever I'd see him, you know, when he's talking, I'd be like, oh, what an ass. But now when I watch, I'll be saying the same thing about JLo. It'll just be a different meaning. I'm like, what an ass. 
<laughs> Don't worry though, Simon fans. In a few months, Simon uh, Kills back on TV. He's got a new show called The X Factor, which is described as a singing competition which pits contestants against each other. <laughs> wow! <laughs> this is revolutionary! Where the hell did he get that idea from? Anyway, I think the new judges in American Idol will be great because J-Lo and uh, Steven Tyler are both successful musicians. Steven uh, Tyler's still in Aerosmith and he says he's eager to help the music careers of people that no one's heard of, like uh, the other members of Aerosmith. And... <laughs> I look forward to your letter, Joe Perry. <laughs> or is it Steve Perry or uh, Tyler Perry? I don't know. Somebody... Uh... <laughs> I, I think uh, Stevens uh, doing American Idol to stay popular with the young people because Aerosmith actually they're recording a new album now but their new songs give away the band's age a little bit you know because they're getting on you no know, loving a ventilator <laughs> <laughs> Janie's got some gums <laughs> up this way <laughs> Slow because they're old, you see. <laughs> yeah, if you have to explain it, it's not a joke. Never mind. Look, some contestants of the American Idol, though, they're really young. Ryan Seacrest said the other day that one of the contestants asked him for advice because they'd never heard a Beatles song. And I'm like, what? I don't know what's more shocking the fact that someone's never heard a Beatles song and they're asking Ryan Seacrest for advice. <laughs> The big question is, will American Idol work with no foreign judges? Because Simon was, of course, from England and Paula Abdul was from... Why not? No! Anyway, ah, it's commercial break time, Jeff. All right, sponsors. Oh, oh! Spring. Holy crap, I didn't expect an essay about masturbation. Ooh, commentary. <laughs> no, just uh, a Will this affect my job review? If you don't shut up, it will, yeah. You don't Ooh. have a... Oh, 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 hey! <laughs> Knock that off. I don't know for legal reasons that you can actually do that. Do you know what? This is true. Destroying. Don't shut up. Listen. <laughs> This is true. When, the, when he started doing that, the censors looked at it and said, yeah, the robot, the robot can make that move with its arm, but, you, but me, I can't. Because apparently the robot can't masturbate, but I can. <laughs> and I'm like, you don't know the robot. <laughs> we'll be right back, everybody. trying not to think about the, uh, the complexities of female heterosexual desire. I've been trying not to think about it and failing. <laughs> it is it's an enigma to me, an enigma wrapped within a conundrum, wrapped within a vagina. <laughs> <laughs> what time is it, Jeffrey Pearson? Check the tweets, Burgermeister. Yeah, go on then, check the tweets. Twitter, Twitter, tweeting, tweeting, ephemeral, ephemeral, fleeting, fleeting, blue and web, face code, twist zone, ass mode, check the tweets, 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 and also emails. This is uh, from Kelly in Oxford in uh, PA. He says, uh, Dear Craig, I just saw a poll that said the LA has the rudest people in the country. Would you agree with this? Crikey. Yeah. <laughs> and on a personal note, Kelly, how about you mind your own Icaramba. business? This is from Mary in Iona in Indiana, who says, uh, 
Uh, hi, Craig. Does Kierkegaard's "You shall love, uh, you shall love" preclude passion, or can we love unconditionally yet passionately? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I think. <laughs> no, I think, uh, I always imagine that unconditional love is uh, slightly less passionate and a bit more kind of smiley. <laughs> you know, unconditional love is a bit kind of like, <laughs> I mean, the, the existence of passion would imply there was a condition attached, wouldn't you think? Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. Screwing. Thanks for bringing us back, Jeff. Um, this is from Matt in Crystal Bay in Nevada, who says, uh, by the way, Matt's a finch. <laughs> says, uh, hey, Craigie, does it bother you when people play around with your name? People call me Matty, and I don't get it. <laughs> Thanks, Mattster. Thanks, Matterino. Matt, Matty? Matty. I don't like it when people call me Craigsy. I look forward to your endless tweets calling me that. <laughs> I actually don't really care. The only thing I don't like being called is... <laughs> <laughs> Too quick. <laughs> That's why I try to make my love less passionate. It's longer, and it's unconditional. <laughs> Craig, are you implying that Kierkegaard, thinking about Kierkegaard as a way to stop premature ejaculation? You bet I am! <laughs> Danish philosophy, Danish philosophy! <laughs> You're welcome, excited teenagers. This is from Brent in Santa Monica in California, who says, uh, Dear Craig, I just moved into a new apartment where my neighbors are extremely noisy. Should I complain to the manager or confront them directly? Oh, I'd go for a direct confrontation. What could go wrong? <laughs> and you want to wade in there nice and rude right away. Don't say, excuse me, say, hey, jackass! <laughs> Remember, you're in L.A., politeness is not welcome here! <laughs> Uh, this is from Brian in S Columbia, in South Carolina, who says, uh, uh, Brian's some kind of weird bird, I don't know what it is. <laughs> I look forward to your tweets telling me what kind of bird it is and calling me Craigsy at the same time. <laughs> and I'll block you for it. Uh, this is, uh, Dear Craig, uh, I recently cracked several ribs and it's incredibly painful. Have you broken any bones? Have I? <laughs> yes, some of them my own. I am... Um... I once got in a motorcycle accident and I broke three ribs and, uh, and my collarbone. And uh, it was in, I was in England at the time. I know, it gets worse. Uh, I came off this motorcycle because I was on a big giant American motorcycle. I won't tell you what type it is, a Harley V-Rod. And, I, uh, and I, I wasn't used to, I, it, I just, I had to go around a corner. V-Rod's not really so great at going around corners, especially these windy roads. All right, it was my fault, all right? <laughs> The V-Rod is fine about going around corners. It, was it wasn't the bike's fault. It was my fault. I went around the corner, uh, and the bike didn't. And <laughs> I came off, and I, I, I broke three ribs, and I, uh, I cracked my collarbone. And then what happened after that was that it was, there's no real treatment for that because, you know, they don't really put a plaster cast on, but they did offer me powerful narcotic drugs. And I'm like, I can't really do that. I kind of used that up in the 1980s. So... <laughs> So all that they could give me was uh, paracetamol, which is about as much use for a broken bone as a cup of hot Tootsie Fruits tea. Uh, <laughs> and, <laughs> and you think that's a lot, you should have listened to me when I was dealing with the broken bones. <laughs> And then the thing was that not only that, but I was uh, in England, and when I'm in England in the summertime, I get allergies from whatever they put in the fields there, you know, um, tea or something. And I, and I was sneezing, on, and when you sneeze and you have broken ribs, well, let me tell you, girlfriend. <laughs> you come up with new cuss words then. <laughs> and that's my story. Is it commercial break time? More boner pills, everybody. We'll be right back.
Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to the, uh, what, the show where tonight we're examining the sexuality of uh, heterosexual females. <laughs> And, uh, and I think we've answered a few questions, most of them being, uh. <laughs> My first guest is a heterosexual female. Ha ha! <laughs> I think. <laughs> we don't know each other that well, it might come up in the conversation. Uh, she's on uh, Bones, which is uh, on Thursday night on the Fox Network. <laughs> Take a look at this. If I had a nickel for every time I've had to say that. <laughs> Please welcome the very lovely Emily Deschanel, everybody. Emily Deschanel. You look lovely. You look oh, really you. very nice. Thank you. Thank you. You look, you. You look really ador gorgeous and heterosexual, if I may say so. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. you, you I've you, got, there's a whole bunch of people who help me look nice. And I don't do it on myself. Well, whatever I wouldn't look doing, that it's, good it's, if I came it's here. It's fantastic. You've got a dress on there. And, yes, a dress. And it's, uh, you know, you've got a bracelet. Yes, a bracelet. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty exciting. Makeup and hair. Me too. Oh, boy. Are you? No, but that's your natural hair. That's not a wig, is it? It's my. <laughs> it's all. It's all natural. No, There's no, not it looks, one clip in it. No, here. no, it's nice. It's yeah. Did you? Are you uh, covered in bone fragments in that thing? Yeah, that's bone fragments. What? Oh, you haven't been here since. I know, Jeff. Yeah. Jeff. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Jeff want. Yeah. No. I think he, he should make an appearance on Bones. Sprawling. No. <laughs> Bones don't masturbate. <laughs> well, for legal reasons, neither does he, but... Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Do you, yeah. Well, maybe you want to have that on the show. For sweeps, have one of the skeletons... It would be a know, great idea. ...pleasure himself. <laughs> I think it's a great idea. Yeah, I heard there's a spin-off coming out of the show. Yes. That, today, right? I heard about that. Is that yes. true? Yeah. I, well, we're all trying to figure it out right now. <laughs> no, but it is happening. Uh, there's a whole Is it your, your, your own show on your own? It's all my own. Really? I think that's already my show. Well, yeah, no. not really. I have a lot of people, but... Um, <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, that's going to go down well. Okay. Well, uh, I don't we... know how I could work any more than I already do on this show, is what I'm saying. No, I hear you. That's I what I mean. No, I, I don't mean to say that I'm the only person I know, I know. I was only... I was don't I tell was... David Boreanaz. No, I won't tell David Boreanaz. You know when he was here, he tried to make out with me, actually. I wouldn't be surprised. No, he actually did. Have you got that line around? He did. And that's weird, because we were just talking about that. Do you like the idea of men making out? I mean, sexually, does that excite you? <laughs> two, two men? Two men making out? Not really, no. No, no. no. So what... Yeah. Um. So why then? Why then do you think some men, not necessarily me, are titillated by yeah. the idea of a woman making out with another woman? I don't know. I see. <laughs> I, I think you have to ask a man that. No, 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 no. <laughs> We men don't talk at that level. No, no. no I, I don't know what it is. I, I don't know why. I mean, no. women are... But all women are different in what they find attractive, though, yes? Yes, yes. yes. Okay, and we good. probably think about different things, like you were saying earlier. What? What... <laughs> um... What was I saying earlier, though? What you're saying about the heterosexual female brain may be more complex. I think. Or, oh, yeah, oh yeah. I hope he makes me laugh or something like that. What yeah, you yeah. Say? Well, women, women like, like a man that makes them laugh, right? Absolutely. But it has to be yes, laughing in a certain way. I married a very funny person. Well, right. Yeah. So you married your husband because uh -huh. he amused you? That's one reason, yeah. Right, yeah, right. Yeah. But he made you laugh in a way which was witty and urbane, not yes. in a way which was like, oh, ha, 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 no, like yeah. that. Yes. Right. A very so strong a, distinction. Right, so it's a specific yeah. type of laughter. Anything yes. else that you were before you were married or what you were, when you were I, seeing your husband, you thought, oh, well, tech, he makes me laugh in an urbane, sophisticated way. Right. What else? I, I don't know. There's so many uh, things, I guess. <laughs> I don't well, know. Well, 
do you do you it was his physicality was absolutely right, okay. yeah. yeah so you were attached I liked to his him. personality as right. well as his uh his his humor right. which is part of his personality I guess, I guess. Yeah, yeah yeah and his looks and all that yeah right right, right. well so that's but about what, it. I mean I think that women ha think about I think I don't know. Oh, come on, come on. I think that women think about things uh, in a different way than men do. Well, I, think I don't that's think true. that's going to make the news. I think I we agree want with more that. complex things. Mm. Yeah. You met my husband. I did, yeah. yeah. He didn't yeah. make me laugh. He didn't make you laugh. Yeah. Well, I don't think he was we trying to make me laugh. We didn't have a lot of time together. I, although I feel like we're, we've kind of become friends. I don't know. If, do you feel like that's true? Yeah, okay. Us? Yeah. We got to hang out socially, you know? We did a little bit. We saw bit. each other at a party. Yeah, and, party. You know, yeah. Given by Stephen Fry. Pretty amazing. Yeah, that was kind of swanky. And I kissed your nose. You did by accident. Yeah. I noticed that. That was awkward. <laughs> that was kind of... I can't believe you remembered that. <laughs> it was really awkward. It was like, I, nice to see you. It was well, like we trying were, to do that kind of yeah. Hollywood and you went and kissed me right in the nose. Well, you... Let's be... Okay, we were in a van. You had to get in a van to go to this Hollywood party. Yeah, it was party. weird. It was weird because this, this guy came up in a van and said, do you ever want to go to a party with Stephen Fry? And we said, sure. Sure, we'll get in your van. <laughs> and I don't know if you were already in the van or you just got in, and I didn't see that it was you until you, he was in the back, way, way back. And then, so it was like awkward, and I said hello and kissed you on the nose. Yeah, yeah, you did. I think that's why your husband there. wasn't laughing so much, <laughs> eh? He was like, what the hell are you doing kissing that dude on the nose? The guy at the back of the van. <laughs> Yeah, he, he was questioning. Yeah, well, it was kind of awkward, actually, yeah. Yeah. Still, that was the summer. The winter's here now. <laughs> the winter's here. We get warm. We get wet in L.A. in the winter yeah, time. Yeah, no. very wet. It's been very Rainy. wet. Yes, yeah. Yeah. Uh, do you do anything in the rain? Um, I like the rain. Do you? Do you but run like about with a shirt on? <laughs> Not Men also the, like that, too. Yes, not somebody. with a white T-shirt on. Why not? <laughs> it's not really practical in the rain. No, I guess not. Yeah. So what, you an umbrella sort of a girl? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe a coat. Maybe a umbrella, raincoat. Umbrella, coat, <laughs> Wellington boots. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Love those kind of boots. You know yeah. why they're called Wellington boots? Why? Because they're named after the Duke of Wellington. Who used, oh, really? Who used to wear them at sex fetish parties. <laughs> I think that's true. Some of it's true. <laughs> Some of, the last part isn't, I don't think. So how's things going on the Bonios then? Good, All right, yeah. yeah good. The Bonios, good. Yeah. We we'll keep working away. We're going on after American Idol. Whoa, hello. That's hello. a big time now. Hello. The money, yeah. For, well, I'm know, not getting I, uh, any more money. Uh, <laughs> no. I'd quit. You, no, I never even thought about it. Yeah, ask I should for, ask for ask more money. Ask for more money, yeah. I'm Do you know go. um, uh, the, your creator of that show? Hart Hansen. Hart he Hansen, loves yeah. you. He wanted I to come him. today. I got to introduce you. I don't know. You hadn't met before, had you? No, no. I met him at that party. <laughs> yeah. and he created boy. I'd make out with him. I, well, he has a guy crush on you, so maybe there's I'd, some kind I'd of... I'd flat out make out with him. <laughs> if he wasn't a dude. If he wasn't yeah. a dude. If you just put some breasts on him. <laughs> no, slap slap a couple no, breasts no, on him. No, 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 no. I, right? I need someone... Put with, a wet t-shirt no, and some breasts no. on. Wet t-shirt and breasts. And, and, and if he makes me laugh, <laughs> then I'll make it. Which he actually, might if, make you laugh. If he put on wet t-shirts and false breasts, he might actually make me laugh. <laughs> he probably yeah, would. Just the kind of thing that tickles my fancy. <laughs> well, we're done here, Emma. Okay. Yeah. I would uh, offer an awkward pause, but I think we kind of went there. We've, we've yeah. had a couple, I think. Yeah, yeah. Harmonica? I was going to say mouth organ, but I think I've overdone it with the double on turn. <laughs> You just did it again. Yeah, I know. I don't know why. Sure, harmonica, sure. All right. Uh, do you play? <laughs> no. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Wait, I have to open this up? Oh, yeah. You make it so oh, difficult. Maybe we should get one of your team to come out and open it up for you. What? Oh, can my <laughs> mouth organ opener come out? I wouldn't think you want to have such delay and create... Listen, probably sounds terrible. <laughs> It sounds like your TV's Wait. not working. Can you do that while I play harmonica? Sure, yeah. Why not? During the break, we were totally rocking out to Teo Cruz. 
happened? The air's on top. Dee -dee -dee -dee. And then Chunky, the warm-up game has gone, Galileo! <laughs> and we were like, shut up, Grandpa! <laughs> My next guest is a very funny actor and comedian. He's got a new book out called Tiny Acts of Rebellion. I like it. <laughs> It's a, it's a call to arms for all revolutionary midgets. <laughs> Please welcome the very funny Rich Filcher, everybody. Rich Filcher. Sorry. Are you a dancer? I got carried away. Are you a dancer? Yes, you like I to am. dance? Because who's that at the door? Thank you, Craig. How are you? I'm a heterosexual. <laughs> no! I was going to make out with you. Oh. That's my make-out face. <laughs> you see that face? I'm coming in. You, you were going right for my nose, though. That's my thing. <laughs> I, like to, I like to kiss people uh, on the nose for the first time. You're a nosophile. Is that what they're called? <laughs> yeah, I guess. I don't know. All right. What's, I don't what's, know. The, uh, what's the book about then? Tiny Acts of Rebellion? Is that yeah. what it's about? Because not all of us can overthrow governments or anything. So we have to do these little tiny acts every day, or else we'll be like that Michael Douglas character and falling down. Ah, yeah. And just go nuts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So what would you do then? What would be a tiny act of rebellion? Well, for instance... Um... Man, I, you, you can't do that! There's a drawing in here! You've got your tongue in a mixer thing! Yeah, in a mixer, yeah. But that's just an that's, example that's of That's not rebellion! That's insane! Well, like, like, for instance, like we all go to shows and everything, like we're in a show right now. I always like to do this, aren't we? Kind of. We're not in a yeah. surreal universe. <laughs> It's, uh, I like to clap last, like, you know, you're the last person to clap, oh, yeah. and then you, uh, uh, you usually get into a little fight with somebody else who wants to do the same thing, and then, or also, like, in the middle of a speech or something, you do what I call a pop clap, which is just like, in the middle of nowhere, you just clap, and someone goes, what the hell is going on? Don't be seen Crikey. like this in front of the audience? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, knock it off! It's a, just a little act of rebellion that you can do. Another is, um, yeah, that's, um, that's where you can take the soft drinks as much as you want, but that's pretty well, you, common. You, you, well, you drink a lot of soft drinks and then and do a lot of poopy? And, and, then, <laughs> and urinate all over yourself. Oh. Yeah. No, but, but uh, another one I like to do is called the underbird. Like, for instance, I'm flicking you off right now, and you don't know it. So you can be smiling at somebody oh. and flicking them off at the same time. I like this. Yeah. I'm actually pointing my penis at you right now. <laughs> and, so, like, if you're in a restaurant and this were a menu, you could be doing that as well. Like, oh, I'd like the gravy. Yeah. I, I, <laughs> what kind of restaurant are we talking about? <laughs> A gravy restaurant? Yeah, the uh, gravy boat down at La Cienega. Oh, yeah. the gravy boat, that's awesome. I love that. But you know, you can't get in there with all the celebrities. I know. And you know, they've got a new German version called the gravy U-boat. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I said that. No, that's okay. <laughs> it's all right. You're, you're going to fit in here just fine. Uh, where are you from then? Uh, uh. No, that's all right. Don't worry about it. Are you from a place where snakes are dangerous? <laughs> no. No, but that reminds me of... Yes. Did you ever see this movie? It was a really old movie. It was called... <laughs> yeah, it's just spelled S-S-S-S-S. -S -S -S. I know how to spell... Okay. S. <laughs> oh, sorry. I didn't spell yeah, it right. I'm sorry. Wrong. So, but, um, is that a movie? Yeah. Okay. It's, it, I was starring Burke, Dirk Benedict. Or, if you're dyslexic, Burke Benedict. You're right, right. 
<laughs> and um, he slowly turns into a snake. Like um, he's going. And so it's kind of like the fly, but a snake. Yeah. Ah. I bet the fly got the idea. <laughs> they they got that. the idea for the fly from the from. I'm, no, I'm not going to say anything like that. So but. they should have called the fly. <laughs> then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. See. Yeah. No, but I, the, yeah. The, well, that reminds sorry. you of that. That was a tangent. <laughs> You flicking me off right now somewhere? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I am. I'm still uh, pointing my penis at you. Uh, I'm still heterosexual. That's all right. Oh, here, here's another one I like to do. Okay. Is, you know how you, um, sometimes you call out your farts, like you say, you know, I just farted. But I like to do it, I like to do it like, say you buy gum at a store, right. and then you leave and say, have a good day, and then you walk back about 10 minutes later and say, oh, by the way, I just farted. <laughs> <laughs> they, they don't know what to think of that. Like, why would you even admit that? You weren't even in the room. Well, well then maybe they'd have a couple of follow-up questions, like, did you fart <laughs> in relation to the gum, or...? <laughs> I'd be out the door by then. Yeah, well, oh, yeah. you just run and say, oh, by the way, I just farted and then run yeah. up? Yeah. <laughs> it's just little ways for you to sort of get back at the man. And the thing I, thing I like to do is, um, I, somehow I can do this, but I call down and say to the reception um, that my bathroom is flooded. <laughs> That's amazing! It's like you're underwater right now! Yeah. How do you do that? It's one of the few things I can do. Man, I wish I could do that. You can, you just, it's in the back of your throat. It's just a little bit of practice. Now, if you I can did do that, it. they'd just think it was Charlie Sheen. <laughs> <laughs> they see the CBS account and they'll be, and they'll be like, they're like, oh, the hooker's in the closet again. <laughs> That's a really good trick, that. that. <laughs> Do you ever use that uh, when you're um, having sex? <laughs> I hadn't thought of that. Well, you should. <laughs> yeah, no, no, just gonna. <laughs> well, you maybe... know what daddy likes. <laughs> Or for oral sex. Oh, for, for oral yeah. sex would be awesome. I'm stuck down here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, we gotta go. Uh, what? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Uh, awkward pause or uh, mouth organ? Well, I'd like to try the awkward pause. Oh, you would? Okay. <clears throat> If you're going to be in the Los Angeles area and would like to attend a taping of The Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson, please call 323-570-0059 or visit oneiota.com. I talked too long tonight, so I gotta go, or else they'll edit bits out of the show, and we can't have that. 